Coronavirus has understandably dominated the headlines over the last few months. We've had to change just about everything in our lives. Well, something you may not have thought about tailing, er, tailoring is your severe storm safety plan. Meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to explain the dilemma millions across the country are facing, and that's sheltering from a storm with others during a pandemic. Your chances of being injured or killed by a tornado are statistically very low. But if you take that for granted, it can be deadly. That's why even during a pandemic, we have to change our thinking a bit to account for not just our safety, but our health when sheltering. In Pleasant Grove, Alabama, local officials have marked the insides of their storm shelters with tape to help with social distancing. Some shelters in the southeast, where they've already seen severe weather, have even dropped the capacity to account for the needed space but insist they won't turn anyone away in some coronavirus hotspots emergency managers have even kept their doors shut if you're in need of shelter from a tornado and hesitate due to the coronavirus scares well you may want to think again this is john paul martin from the national weather service right here in bismarck there's some folks saying that we can't uh we can't get together uh, for severe weather because of the distance, social distancing we need to do, uh, I don't think that's the right answer. You need to protect yourself from whatever the imminent threat is. And if there's a tornado coming through your community, that's the imminent threat is that tornado. You need to survive the tornado. If you don't, you don't need to worry about anything else, including the uh, coronavirus. Now, let me be clear here. The KX Storm Team is in lockstep with the National Weather Service on this one. We believe that you should shelter no matter what. But that doesn't mean that you can't take special precaution while in a storm shelter area. The American Meteorological Society issued a statement. They said, do not let the virus prevent you from seeking refuge from a tornado. If a public tornado shelter is your best available refuge from severe weather, take steps to ensure that you follow the CDC guidelines for physical distance and disease prevention. This means you should try to maintain that recommended six foot distance and have a mask if you feel so if you feel necessary. Most of you may be sheltering at home and already have that safe place in mind. But if you're in need of a shelter and have a regular place that you would normally go or a place that you have in mind, it's important to call ahead and contact those locations now. Schools, churches, local businesses and community facilities, well, they may not be open to you this year. You'll need that plan B.